Hey people, so it is Sunday morning and I thought I would vlog um, just to get my mind off stuff because today is kind of a difficult day for me but it is Mother's Day. Um, so if you've been following my channel you kind of know what's kind of happened and stuff. Basically today I've made my decision, I may change it, I don't know but I'm still like kind of bought here. So I, anyway, let's just get rid of that, that's not the purpose of this vlog, the purpose of this vlog is to be um to get my mind off it and stuff so today um later on i'm going to be heading off to macworth so basically i did a vlog on really really please tell me you're not in here please tell me you're not in here i don't think you're in here oh my god i hear you what the hell why would you just Oh yeah, is it a fly or is it a bee? Because it's weird if it's a fucking bee. <laughs> so it was a fly and it's just flown out. Anyway, what was I talking about? So today, so basically, I did an app on um, Ollie Olio. I did the vlog of that and the app where people donate free stuff like food and irons and stuff. But on, I believe it was yeah Friday, I went to went to collect something from near enough Macworth, it's kind of in between Macworth and I realised how good the sides were and everything and at the time it was kind of evening so I did get a few shots um, but I want to kind of explore Macworth more because it's like a countryside thing and it's literally just down the road from here it's like 44, 45 minutes, 44 minutes away from my house it's literally just down Ashbourne and I thought I'd explore that area um, and get some photos and stuff um, I might do that in the afternoon though um, whereas like doing it now and stuff, I just want to kind of just chill for a few, um, for a few hours before I, um, set off. But yeah, that is what I want to do today. So, yeah. It's not supposed to rain till five, but I will bring my waterproof just in case, because, I mean, I'm not going to bring my umbrella because I kind of need my hands. <laughs> So yesterday I picked up my glasses, was a, li a little bit confusing, so basically I got a text message which I thought well you could have at least just phoned, um, so basically I got a text message saying to make an appointment to pick up my glasses because I wasn't sure whether you need to make an appointment or not, so I had to then find an app where which you could download like so you can get apps there's a lot of like scam ones where you can either pay for credits or earn credits or when you first start you'll get a few credits basically to make phone calls and a lot of them are only mobile numbers i managed to find one which actually <laughs> you can actually phone a landline um, and basically what it was and have a good connection like I had one ding tone but like she couldn't hear me so I downloaded another one I can't remember what it's called at the top of my head um that one you could hear she could hear me and stuff but basically if you want to sit a sit down like fit in so what usually happens anyway is you get a sit down fit in they give you the glasses they double check that everything fits properly or you can just pick them up where you don't need an appointment they just hand it to you at the door so I might as well just go for a pick up because Anyway, I've not had any issues where they needed to really alter anything when I have picking picking up my glasses, and even if I do, I could just like go there and they'll just tighten it or phone them up or whatever. So yeah, so I just picked them up and they actually fit all right. But yeah, what I found really odd, and I can understand. So they put it in a paper bag, so it wasn't too bad. It wasn't in a plastic bag, but it's still like rubbish because you can't reuse a paper bag because they just stay useless so i thought why didn't she just hand me the glasses like this it was a pretty big bag as well it was kind of like it was a bit weird um i suppose it depends obviously you know if i'd have a bag or anything but every female walks out with a bag especially if you know you're going to collect something so i thought it was odd and a waste of money a waste of money a waste of like tree <laughs> a tree died <laughs> a tree died for that paper bag well probably not died but i don't know i think i had a conversation with my dad about that and i think they they didn't actually fully chop down i don't know either way a tree was harmed just for a paper bag i didn't need to be didn't i didn't need but anyway um so these are the glasses i picked up 
and I believe these cost uh, £49, I think. And I decided to go for round ones. From what I remember anyway, and the regular lenses as well. My last ones apparently were anti-glare. I didn't bother with the anti-glare um, this time round. Uh, what was I going to say? So from what I remember anyway, um, if you need glasses for distance, it's best not to go for thicker frames which I've always been a fan of thicker frames. I remember when that came and I was like, I really like thick frames. But I decided, I was torn between two. So I was torn between this one. To be fair, it was like, buy one, get one free anyway. But I don't need two pairs of glasses. I was torn between this one and um, a clear one. But I didn't think the shape of the clear one suited me. I don't know. I felt these ones suited me better. So I thought, you know what, I was going to ask you what she thought, but I thought, nah, you know what, I think these will suit me better. So I just went for um, a round um, lens style um, glasses. And this is what they look like on, so they kind of see me, and I thought they look different to go for, like, round ones, if I do have to wear them all the time. Knowing me, right, I will wear them all the time when I'm out. Well, he said it was okay, obviously, at home, and I don't necessarily need to wear them. Um, but, like... Knowing me, I'd wear it for a week and then, like, and then I'll be like, nah, because I'm like, if I'm wearing makeup, I ain't wearing these because you know what I mean? I want to show off my makeup, you know? Uh, but yeah, it might actually help, um, the photography sort of thing as well. Um, obviously, to like look at like things to capture and stuff, maybe look a lot clearer. <laughs> That makes any sense. And maybe I would stop taking a load of blur photos and end up going to end up throwing them. Like on Friday I took a really good photo on the thing on the LED screen, it didn't look blurry until I transferred it onto my laptop and I was like, Oh my god, that looks blurry. That is that is just no. Which I've got another story about my goddamn laptop. So funny enough, okay, you you play can play on Windows XP, right? So I've been trying to download just for fun, just to see how bad it's gonna run. I tried to just, uh, download South Park. South Park. It's got a load of games on um, there already, which I've brought in the past. South Park, part the um, but whole truth. No, not that stick of truth. You know the second game, right? No word of a lie. Bearing in mind, I wasn't doing it just over Wi-Fi. I did have it connected to the modem. It took two days. I say two days. Today, it just decided to be like, no, we've had enough, and just close. And then, so I thought, oh, it's downloaded it. So I click on it, and it's like, no, it comes up with the installation thing. And I'm just like, really? Really? Honest to God, like, virgin <laughs> shit, why? Like, come on. It's not like I'm streaming. Like, okay, it's like the second to the lowest one. But honestly, to download a game even connected to the modem and you just can't you can't you can't do that god man it pissed me off seriously <laughs> so right so just here in a mcdonald's ad i need to tell you this story right okay so basically um obviously you know i quit working <coughs> in mcdonald's i don't work there anymore but when i was working there it used to be it used to so basically with mcdonald's you've either got my, uh, got the stores that are actually owned by McDonald's or their franchise. So there's this one guy that bought our store, which I did say it was going to go to shit. Like, honestly, trust me, if you want to work in a McDonald's, try not go for a franchise store because if you try and contact McDonald's directly about a problem, they won't help you. They will not help you whatsoever. They don't give a shit because they don't own the store. Trust me, just don't. Anyway. So, basically, he's got about 20. He owns about 10, right? So, I'm, like, browsing the news, right? And I'm, like, on my phone. And I, like, see a McDonald's. And they're talking about the McDonald's in Derby. And how they're kind of feeding the what's it. And I'm just there chuckling. Because I'm just thinking to myself, oh, my God. He must be fucking struggling. Because I'm telling you now, he owns nearly every, or if not all of the stores in Derby. 
and I'm like, he's probably fucking struggling, and I'm laughing to myself, because I'm thinking, I mean, this is what you get for being fucking greedy, like, every business person has to be goddamn greedy, and it goes back to the time where they always cut, cut staff, because he wanted to save money to buy another store, if you have to compromise a store to buy another store, you probably shouldn't, because you probably can't afford it, like, don't be greedy ass, so I'm just here just thinking, oh my god i reckon he's desperate for publicity because i'm telling you now there's less amount of people going like it may look like the queues are big and stuff but that's only because there's less staff because of covid so everything's going to run slowly but really it's not necessarily that busy and obviously you can't well now we can go in and like pick up but i'm just like this is fucking hilarious like this is literally what happens when you be fucking ass greedy like seriously like it's every i mean look it's every businessman i mean look at jamie oliver he practically went bankrupt didn't he go bankrupt i don't know gordon ramsay's struggling i'm surprised he hasn't closed had to close a load of freaking um restaurants but then again he's now hosting a game show but it's kind of like this is what happens when when a company gets greedy especially when you go like if you're going into like franchising and stuff only have like a maximum of two or if you can afford it then go for more but don't compromise com compromise um labor and make us struggle and have to work like have to be like work extra hard just because you can save money to buy another store like that's not how it works mate because guess what what happens is at some point it will come and bite you in the neck and look clearly you're struggling like it's just, it's just it oh my god it's just hilarious okay it's just hilarious because i did say like you shouldn't like because i did say him buying new stores he's gonna end up being at one at any point he's gonna regret it and obviously covid hits and clearly he's not making as much money and he's got a half a dozen fucking stores i swear to god i question i really question some business people i really do because i <laughs> stupid so friday was actually like down here which i think is still part of like marquee in, I think, I don't know. But it's like around this area, and then there's an old opening there, which was around that side. And this is all kind of off Ashmore Road as well. Surprisingly, the roads are actually quite busy, like the country roads. Brighton and Mandic because the weekend then it is a Sunday but and we're supposed to be in lockdown but I'm guessing it's everyone like going to see your family and stuff even though technically I don't know I don't even fucking know what the rules are I was going to say technically it's not allowed but I don't even fucking know I think you can now I don't know Currently walking through Bobby Ashmore. So first off, I'm going to fucking slip multiple times. Second off, I've got mud on my trousers. Third off, I know I'm going to when I get back because he likes to, like, my family likes to fucking hug the washing machine. Like, he just sticks his stuff in there and use it and not use it. So more than likely, these are probably going to end up being stained because I'm telling you that I could bet that I come back and he's got crap in the washing machine. But all I'm saying is, if he's if I come back and he's not in, I'm taking his shit out and putting these in because, like, you can't just hog the fucking washing machine. Like, why do you... It just pisses me off so much. Like, fucking hell. I don't even know if I'm allowed on this video. I don't even know if it's public or whatever, but still. It'll fucking piss me off. Piss me off. going to get a venture in and they can only be washed on cold so it's kind of like I need to get them in like as soon as I get in but, but I don't know why he does it it pisses me off So it's 
really so muddy that this woman gave me a stick to use, which uh, probably shouldn't have took it just because of COVID or anything, but because of COVID and stuff, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> Oh yeah, but it's literally proper muddy. It's definitely like um, the ground that gets muddy and it gets wet. That makes any sense. I should say fields and ground, but I was trying to think of the word and then it, it just came. <laughs> literally, how muddy it is! Like it's literally sticking onto my boots and making them ten times more heavy than they already are. <laughs> So short story, this is a church that got set on fire deliberately, it's like a proper old church. I don't want to take too many photos just because there's mourners here because of the cemetery and because of all the shoe and there's quite a few because of Mother's Day and everything. So I only took like a few. Try not to take a picture of the actual graves because I can't understand how people can take a picture of graves. I find it so disrespectful. Especially when like people do like photo shoots in a grave, like really. I'm gonna head back, but I'm actually gonna go through um, Mark Eaton Park, so I think it's just gonna be quicker. The rain is probably starting to come down heavy. <laughs> I am back, and now I can't use the washing machine. I had to put my shoes on the same thing back as well, so freaking muddy, all the salt aren't too bad, but I'm still. Here comes the worst and rewarding job is editing the height. Sometimes I really just can't pass. But I usually like to do it the same day and as I went out in the evening. But yeah, and then half of these I won't even keep either. So after all that, there's only six photos in which I actually like. Bear in mind, I took probably more than 20. I've just put a um, mask off my bottoms in the washing machine. I've had to just put it on a quick wash. I'm not sure what the temperature of the quick wash is. Hopefully, it doesn't like shrink it or anything like that because technically it is supposed to be washed on cold. But because it's got mud on it, I know it's probably not going to come out if I wash it on cold. It's for my dinner, I've been chicken, potato, broccoli, carrots. There is still some stainage like here. Um, it looks like the other leg where I had the most, which you would have seen in the earlier on, um, has gone. Because I can't see it anywhere on this one. Wait, hang on. Yeah, it looks like it's completely gone from that side. But then I had a little bit of drips and drabs on the other one and it looks like it's not 100% removed it. But obviously I can't really wash it at a higher temperature just because you're not, it's only meant to be washed on cold. So that's that. So yeah, I'll be able to have a proper look at it once it's kind of dried and everything. Um, but yeah. So I have a plan tomorrow. So basically... I knew, like, after reading reviews, there's a, I noticed that, not an inside thing, but kind of a, kind of like a um, hack sort of thing. So basically, I want to go to Kenniston Hall. Now, obviously, Kenniston Hall is closed, but you can get to the garden, the gardens are open, or the grounds are open, should I say. Um, the only problem is they are charging £9. So basically, though, you can avoid paying the £9 charge if you go a different way. So if you go to Kediston Lodge and walk from Kediston Lodge, you can actually avoid the, like, pay what's it thing. So I might actually do that tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, just head up, walk. Overall, it's going to be about an hour and a half or an hour and 40 minutes. Just walk to Kediston Lodge and then get instructions from Kediston Lodge um, to um, to Kediston Hall. Um, just because, you know, let's be honest, nine quid. Don't get me wrong, if it was like five quid, fine. But nine quid to see open grounds, like seriously, 
I know the National Trust need the money to the upkeep of the of the um hall, but you're just ripping people off. So yeah, that is a way. If you are from <laughs> if you are heading to from Derbyshire or Derby, whatever, and you want to go to Kensington Hall, but you don't want to pay nine pounds. If you go that way, um, basically it's like a back way. Then you can just avoid any um charges you have to pay pay for it. And I've looked and there is like, there is like, I've double checked to make sure that there is pavement to walk on, if that makes any sense. So I'm not exactly fully work, walking on the road. Um, and there is, so I might head down there tomorrow. It depends if I can be bothered or not. It is currently going on to 7 o'clock and I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm not going to be doing that much. Anyway, I just want to have a bath, This, which is pretty early for me. I've never, the earliest I usually have a bath is like 8, but... You know, when you just feel like you want an early bath, if that makes any sense. That is what I'm currently feeling. So, bye guys.